Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Art. So today I'm going to be drawing and painting a watercolour magpie for you, an Australian magpie. Um, they're an amazing bird, they've got an awesome sense of humour, they're really intelligent, highly intelligent. Um, and they're just gorgeous shades of black and grey. So I thought it would be a fun challenge to, for myself to um, work as many different tones of grey as I could to create the effect that I wanted. So now I'm just wetting the whole bird with uh, just clean water. And then I'm running a grey that I mixed uh, burnt umber and cobalt blue. So and just a very thin wash and putting that all over everywhere that's going to be black on the bird. Then I go into the eye with a little bit of transparent sienna and then a little bit of burnt umber just around the edge to add a bit of variation to the colour in the eye. Then I wash just the clean brush wet around the, the rest of the wings where it's going to be white and I pop the tiniest little bit, bit of grey in just to um, put some shadows in and then I pop a little bit of cobalt blue. Um, just for the shadow areas on the white and then I add a tiny little bit of the cobalt blue to the beak So now I'm going around the eye with a thicker mix of burnt umber cobalt blue and just adding uh, the detail around the eye and then Darkening up around the feathers again just again wet brush washed over everything and then pop The gray on and let it run and let watercolor do what watercolor does best so now I'm onto the third layer, exactly the same, just a slightly different consistency, a bit darker, a bit more um, cobalt blue and burnt umber, a bit, so a bit more cobalt blue in the mix. And that sort of blues up the, the grey, so it makes it quite interesting to look at. And I put that around different parts of the magpie's body. let that dry for a little bit and then I touch up the eye a little bit more darken up the pupil and then I go back in with an even thicker mix of cobalt burnt umber and then I start to define the feathers around the magpie's wings and his back just with a little bit of blue pigment then I go burnt umber cobalt blue and this time I've added a tiny little bit of Payne's grey and I put that around the edges of the feathers on his wings and then I drag that out with a damp brush just to soften it and blend it out then I make an even darker mix to add some shadows around the wings and around under his chest and onto the feathers on his leg. And I start to add some detail onto his legs. And I'm doing pretty much all of this wet into wet. And then I go over and retouch the edges of the feathers on his wings and darken them right up and then I add some more shadows around his underbelly and I rough up the feathers so it just gives him a little bit of extra texture and I add a few sort of feathery bits on the ends of his wings darken up around his leg and I pop a little bit more detail onto his feet and I'm still using burnt umber Payne's grey and a little bit of cobalt blue and then I go back and do the final darks around the magpie's face blend that all out with the damp brush and then work back around the bottom of his body where it's at its darkest and then add a, a few a bit of blue to his back and I go into the branch with a bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of burnt umber and I let that blend into itself just wet in wet and that creates a shadow underneath the bird
then I pop the darkest darks in and I go underneath the wings and just do the darkest areas under there and I define the tail feathers and I do the dark around his eye and just add that fine a little bit of detail and we're just about done so I hope you enjoyed this video guys I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and click on the bell icon that way you'll be notified uh, when I release another video I'll put links below to my uh, Instagram Twitter and Twitch and I would love to see you there have an awesome day guys and I'll see you next video